A lot of people wondered how Mazen Namde Kanu, the chosen one, the Messiah, Agu, the lion of the indigenous people of Biafra, could be caught again so easily. We are talking of a man, an ordinary man, who has taken it upon himself to leave the comfort of the United Kingdom, who has taken it upon himself to leave the United Kingdom that created the contraption called Nigeria. I'm very sure that um, certain people in the northern part of Nigeria who have not seen any form of comfort aside um, the Amagiri system, many of them, and some of them that had somehow had access to half education, are all out there jubilating. And um, we never saw that kind of jubilation when Shikao and many of those corrupt and, and very terrible vampires um, you know, release videos of how they've killed people, and eventually, um, when, we've, uh, when when they release um, some false narrative out there that they've been captured, like Shikau, we never saw that massive jubilation coming from the Northerners. But right now, what we see is massive jubilation in the north of Nigeria, and of course, among southeastern politicians. In fact, in general, politicians are happy. Probably just one percent of them are not happy, but I will tell you, ninety-nine percent of them are happy um, because um, the arrest of Mazen Namde Kanu to them is um, an indication that twenty twenty-three election will come forth. That is just what it is. Now, I'm sure that the reason why you clicked on this video is to find out about the details of how Mazen Namde Kanu got arrested how they brought him into nigeria if you're just joining in kindly tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below it will alert you when videos are uploaded and if you're already a member of this wonderful um, family wonderful channel i say a very big thank you for the support now fresh information made available online on politics nigeria has detailed how the nigerian government was able to capture once again and I don't want to use the word capture. Saying capture is like um, saying you are trying to capture a criminal. I'm using the word capture because we have to be very careful what kind of um, word that we use in describing the atrocities of this regime and this contraption, um, the people running this contraption from behind and, uh, you know, the, the people running it, um, drawing, deciding the cabals and, of course, the ones we have in the West and the ones in Nigeria. We have to be very careful how we express they said they capture, but I want to use the word adopt, kidnap, abducted. They abducted Mazen Namde Kanu, and I want to use the word kidnapped Mazen Namde Kanu, but they chose to use the word capture the wanted leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Namde Kanu. And I would prefer to rephrase this by saying they kidnapped the brave leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Namde Kanu. They went further to say he was uh, captured after the Nigerian Attorney General Abubakar Malami wrote to the Ethiopian government through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, alerting them that Inam the Kanu, a wanted fugitive, was in their country. I do not know what Inam the Kanu came to Ethiopia for. Probably he came there to speak to other members of the indigenous people of Biafra residing there. Or he came in there to do a video like how he would do. Or probably came there on a pilgrimage. I wouldn't know. You know, Ethiopians, some of them also claim that they are Israelites and all of these politics that we hear today. But that is not the point. When Inam the Kanu left Biafra land in Ehori Abia State, his hometown, when Afaruku, when, when he left in Ehori, he went through some part of West Africa, um, some of the countries there, I think Benin Republic, and somehow he landed in Israel and eventually returned back to the United Kingdom and he kept going around propagating Biafra IPOB's message to the world and to his listeners. And um, somehow in between these things, um, the federal government of Nigeria, um, they were watching patiently, looking for an avenue to get him. Did Inab the Kanu get into Ethiopia using the Nigerian passport or did he get into Ethiopia using the British passport? That is the question that we are here to confirm. But I will say Inab the Kanu probably got into Ethiopia um, using the British passport. That is my own thought. That is my own take about this. But if he got into Ethiopia, probably got visa on his, on, on his British passport to go to Ethiopia or let's assume that Ethiopia... 
um, accept British um, citizens visa free to their country. They liars with Interpol and decide to do favors to each other. How did this come to be? How did this come to be? How did this come to be? Why should Ethiopian government kidnap Namdekano and pass him over to the Nigerian government? That is something that I need them, um, that needs to be clear. In Namdekano definitely knows that they are sending, but that's why it's very, you know, there's no way you go around this without having enemies around you. And you have to be careful. In as much as you speak boldly, you have to still show love somehow but even with the love you show you still have enemies all over all around you it might be possible that there are certain people who are part of the indigenous people of biafra probably in the top echelon i'm talking about the, um, the 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 people who are part of this um the group the formation the top in akakos it could be any of them that probably gave information down to one person who passed it down to whoever is in this regime of Major General Muhammad Bari. And with this, they worked hand in hand to set him up, bring him down to Nigeria. That's on one side. Then the other part of this is that he flashed his British passport or flashed his uh, Nigerian passport. And um, they did what they, sh they, 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 they do. They kind of um, send that data down to Nigeria, it could be because in the Kanu is a, I, I think is a face that a lot of people have come to know. Uh, I, I, that's that's my thinking. I, I don't know. Or um, the Nigerian government passed information down to all African countries. Should in the Kanu step in? Anybody with this passport number? Anybody with this um, name? Please uh, send information to us so that we can confirm that this uh, person is who we want. There is some kind of intelligence or cooperation because um, it's not just possible that the Nigerian government will just within few seconds or minutes or whatever how find out that Inamdekanu is in Ethiopia. How is this possible? How is this possible? These are the people who acted who have been acting dumb as regards the notorious activities of um, Fulani Men and aside that um, the terrorists in the northern part of Nigeria they've not in any way acted with intelligence they act like it is beyond them how were they able to get this um information well i'll tell you a little bit of this the government and um, they said contacted interpol for assistance in arresting and extraditing in the Kanu to nigeria to face his charges he was intercepted last weekend and immediately repatriated to nigeria um Nandi Kanu, as of today tuesday was arrayed in court and remanded in dss custody they said his case will be adjourned till july 26 and to them this is a big one. Um, they've done what nobody else um, has ever done to them. They've captured their own enemy. But what these people do not understand is that there is more, more that will sprout out of this. That's just what it is. There is more that will sprout out of this. Um, there's going to be repercussions. And um, what they thought that they are going to put an end to might spring forth now. Nobody's calling for war. Nobody's calling for any of these things um, at all. Nobody's calling for any of these things at all. Let us see um, if these people will be able to buy Inam the Kano, buy his mind, and will end up speaking like the leader of Masob. Now, I'm going to go to one or two comment sections so we see what people are saying. Sometimes I'm not an Igbo, but the truth must be told. No one enemy of this great nation is Buhari. This man came to kill and destroy this nation. Everyone will never forgive him and his useless evil supporters. Uh, someone say he didn't jump bail, he escaped assassination attempt on his life by the Fulani terrorist government of Boko Haram. Uh, uh, yeah, so you know what it is. Someone say England with their stupid politics, if they like kill him. Now that's another point again. It could be that he flew into Ethiopia using the British passport with a visa on it, or if it's visa free, and somehow the British government gave information to the Nigerian government that that dude is off our radar is right in Ethiopia. He flashed his passport. It could be. And don't forget that there are certain people who are British citizens and Nigerian Brit um, citizens who are high up there. They exchange information. Probably they work for the immigration or something. There is something somehow um, that must have passed in between that brought about the Nigerian government finding out that Namde Kanu is in Ethiopia. And it's so sad that the Ethiopian government will just quickly package of course probably they've been giving money i don't know quickly packaging and the canoe and then um, they set him on a flight 
as you can see, he was dressed, um, wearing Fendi, although there are a lot of talk about the clothes. Some people say, oh, he has cashed out. He's putting on Fendi. How much does he earn as a person that he will be able to afford Fendi? We are talking about a designer outfit that is, is a bit very expensive anyway. Um, probably that top that he's putting on could go into probably, let's say, 3,000 euros, 2,000 euros or thereabout. I'm just saying. But that is not the point. The point is how did the UK or Ethiopia or someone in the ranks and file of IPOB gave out information of the movement of Inam the Kano um, that he has been arrested, brought into Nigeria again. He's not going to put an end to the agitation for Biafra. The break up 